So hello students, I am Padmini. I welcome you all to the basics of grammar. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic of the grammar that is transformation of sentences. So when we talk about the transformation of sentences, means what? Means changing sentences from one form to another but without change their meaning is called as the transformation of sentences. So as we know my dear students, there are several ways to transform sentences and some of them today we are discussing in this year. Okay? So first one that is remove to. Remove to in English grammar. So how can we do? So let us discuss. If the structure of the sentence is subject plus verb plus to plus adjective or adverb plus to plus infinitive. Then the conversion of these two means how you do? We have to follow the seven steps. Step one that is subject plus verb. Okay. Then step two you have to remove two and write so at that place. Okay. Then number three that is use adjective or adverb. Then rule number four we have to use the that. Then rule number five. Use pronoun according to the subject. And rule number six. Use can, cannot, could not according to the tense. Okay. Then rule number seven. So remove two and then rest of the part of the sentence. Okay. Then the pattern will subject plus verb plus so plus adjective or adverb plus that plus pronoun according to the subject then can, cannot, could not and the rest of the sentences. So we will take one example. He is too good to beat a boy. Okay. He is too good to beat a boy. So the solution will be he is so good that he cannot beat a boy. Okay. We will take another example. It is too cold. It is too cold to go out of the mansion. So, it is so cold that we cannot go out of the mansion. Okay. So, based on these rules, removing the adverb to, we are going to solve some exercises. Okay? My dear class, my dear students, I need answers from your side. Got it? So, question number one. He is too small to touch the ceiling. The question number one, that is, he is too small to touch the ceiling. The answer is, he is so small that he cannot touch the ceiling. Okay? Then the question number two. The lesson was too difficult to understand. The lesson was too difficult to understand. This sentence is in the past tense. So the lesson was so difficult that... We could, we could not understand. Okay. This lesson was so difficult that we could not understand. Okay. Number three. It is never too late to mend. It is never too late to mend. So the answer is. It is never so late that it cannot be mended. Okay. Then that question number four. The tea is too hot to drink. The tea is too hot to drink. The tea is so hot that it cannot be drunk. Okay. Then the question number five. The room is too small to accommodate five people. So the room is so small that it cannot accommodate five people. Okay. Okay, my dear class. So first exercise we have done. We will write the following sentences without the adverb to. So now we will do another exercise where we write the following sentences using the adverb to. The question number one is on the board. That is, he is so slow that he cannot reach in time. He is so slow that he cannot reach in time. So the answer is, he is too slow to reach in time. Okay, 
Then the question number two on the board. She was so old. She was so old that she could not climb the stairs. The answer is, she was too old to climb the stairs. Okay. Then question number three. They were so foolish. They were so foolish that they could not keep their mouths shut. They were too foolish. They were too foolish to keep their mouths shut. Okay. Question number four. This table is so old that it cannot be repaired. The answer is the table is too old to be repaired. Okay. My dear students, I need answers from your side in this comment section. Okay. Next question. The watch is so costly that I cannot buy it. The watch is too costly to buy it. Okay. Okay. Next, that is the changing the degrees of comparison. As we know, there are three degrees of three types of degrees of comparison. That is positive degree, comparative degree, and superlative degree. So one sentence we can change into positive, we can change into comparative degree, and as well as the superlative degree. So we we'll take one example. Mount Everest is the highest peak. Mount Everest is the highest peak. So high, higher, and highest. So whenever we use the superlative degree, we must use the article the before it. So Mount Everest is the highest peak. This is the superlative degrees of comparison. So next, we will change into comparative degree. Then Mount Everest is higher than any other peak. It is comparative degree. So when the comparison is there between two things, and here we have to use them. Next comes the positive degree. No other peak is as high as Mount Everest. That is the positive degree. So like that we can form. Okay. So based on this, we are going to solve some exercises. Change the degrees of comparison in the following sentences without changing the meaning. The questions are there on the board. Okay. Question number one. Kolkata is more crowded than any other city. It is in comparative degrees of comparison. So we have to change it to superlative degree and to the positive degree. So we can write if it superlative degree, Kolkata is the most crowded cities of the of India. Okay. It is in the superlative degree. So how can we change into positive degree? No other city. No other city is age crowded age Kolkata. Yes, it is a positive degree. Okay. Then we will go from number 2. Supriya is the worst student in the class. Supriya is the worst student in the class. This is in superlative degree. So when we will change into positive degree and comparative degree. So first we will write as the positive degree. No no other student, no other student is as bad as Supriya. No other student is as bad as Supriya. It is positive degree. And in comparative degree, in comparative degree we can write like this. That Supriya is worse than Gita. Supriya is worse than Gita. Okay. Next one. Platinum is heavier than any other metal. The question is on the board. So platinum is heavier than any other metal. So it is in comparative degree. So we have to make it superlative and positive degree. So first positive degree. No other metal is age heavy age platinum. Okay. No other metal is age heavy, age platinum. That is positive degree. And in superlative degree, platinum is the heaviest metal. Platinum is the heaviest metal. 
So next question is on the boat. No other building is as beautiful as the Taj. It is in positive degree. So we will make it first comparative degree. The Taj is more beautiful than any other buildings of India. Okay. And we will come to the superlative degree. The Taj is the most beautiful building. Okay. Then next question. Anjali is the best singer in the class. Anjali is the best singer in the class. This is in superlative degree. So we will make it the comparative degree. Comparative degree. Anjali is a better singer than any other girls in the school. And we will make it the positive degree. No other singer is as good as Anjali. Okay. Next that is changing one part of speech with another. So for example, you should obey your teachers. You should obey your teachers. Your obey is used as a verb. If we will use it as a noun but without changing the meaning. So what we can do? You should be obedient to your teachers. You should be obedient to your teachers. Then it is obedient is a noun. So like that, we will do some questions. Okay? But my dear class, I need answers from your side in this comment section. So questions are there on the board. Okay? The first one. He fought courageously. Courageously, we have to use it as noun. So how we can use it? It is used, it is an adverb. But you have to use it as a noun. Means he fought with courage. Okay? Then the next question. We were not sent an invitation. We were not sent an invitation. And here you have to use this invitation as the verb. Then we were not invited. Simple. We were not invited. Then the question number three. Okay? His jokes do not amuse us. His jokes do not amuse us. This amuse. We have to use it as the noun. So what we must use? His jokes. His jokes do not give us any amusement. Okay. Then question number four. She was sincere in her love. This sincere we must use an adverb. Means she loved sincerely. She loved sincerely. Okay. Next question. That is he climbed the tree with each. This each we have to make as an adverb. So he climbed the tree easily. Okay. Then the next one. She takes pride in her beauty. She takes pride in her beauty. And this takes pride we have to use as an adjective. So what will be the answer? C is proud of her beauty. Okay. Then the next one. We were lucky to reach on time. We were lucky to reach on time. So we have to change this lucky as an effort. We were luckily reached on time. We were luckily reached on time. Okay. Then the next one. The teacher punished them. This punished we have to use as a noun. Then the teacher gave them punishment. The teacher gave them punishment. Okay. Next one. That is uh, changing affirmative into negative and negative sentences into affirmative or positive sentences. Okay. The questions are there on the board. Question number one. The book is too difficult to read. We have to make it negative. So the book is so difficult that it cannot be read. Okay. The next question. As soon as he saw the lion, he ran away. As soon as he saw the lion, he ran away. So you have to make it negative. So when it is as soon as is there, means we have to use there no sooner than. No sooner did he see the lion, then he ran away. Okay? Question number three. We will certainly not fail. We will certainly not fail. So we have to make it affirmative sentences. We will certainly fail. 
Next question. He accepted my invitation. We have to make it negative. He did not accept my invitation. He did not accept my invitation. Okay. Man is not immortal. We have to make it affirmative sentences. Man is mortal. Man is mortal. Okay. Then the next question. No sooner did he reach the theater than the film began. No sooner did he reach the theater than the film began. So we have to make it a affirmative sentences. So when we will make it affirmative sentences, we must use your a soon age. A soon age. A soon age. We reached the theater. The film began. A soon age. We reached the theater. The film began. Okay. So my dear students, we have discussed here the various types how to transform the sentences from one to another without changing the meaning. I hope you have understood this.